A two-dimensional object has both a perimeter and an area. Let's see how these are different. Perimeter and area are both quantities that can be found for a rectangle or other object. Let's look at this rectangle which has a length of 3 cm and a width of 2 cm. The perimeter of an object is the total distance around the outside of the object. We can calculate the perimeter by adding the top, which is 3 cm, plus the right side, which is 2 cm, plus the bottom, which is 3 cm, plus the left side, which is 2 cm. These add up to a total distance of 10 cm. So we can say that the perimeter is 10 cm. We can also calculate the perimeter using 2 times 3 cm for the top and the bottom, plus 2 times 2 cm for the two sides. 2 times 3 cm is 6 cm, and 2 times 2 cm is 4 cm. So again, the total perimeter is 6 plus 4, or 10 cm. We can see that the perimeter is just the total distance around the outside of an object. So perimeter is just a measure of distance. Because it's a measure of distance, it has a normal distance unit, or length unit, which is centimeters in this case. Now we'll look at the rectangle on the right. It has a length of 3 centimeters and a width of 2 centimeters, just like the one on the left. For this rectangle, we'll consider its area. The area is the whole two-dimensional surface of the object which we've colored in with light blue. We calculate the area using the formula area equals length times width, which is 3 centimeters times 2 centimeters, or 6 centimeters squared, which can also be stated as 6 square centimeters. Let's consider the plan for a bedroom floor in a house. The perimeter is the total distance around the outside of the floor. If we're putting baseboard around the floor, the perimeter would tell us the total length of the baseboard we need. Area is the total two-dimensional surface of the floor. Area will tell us how much flooring is needed to cover the floor of this room. Area is calculated by multiplying the room's length by its width. Being able to calculate or estimate perimeters and areas of various objects or rooms helps in many aspects of our life. For example, these two quantities are very important when people are making plans for a house.